Sweden and Brazil are, on the surface, two countries that have little in common. Scandinavian winter, Rio summer. Latin passion, Nordic coldness. But the war industry is unaware of climatic and cultural distances, which is why since 2013 a pact between Saab and the Brazilian Air Force unites both nations. In one of the most ambitious projects carried out in South America, Brazil teamed up with Saab to develop the two-seater version of the innovative Gripen NG fighter, the future of the legendary original JS-39 Gripen that was put into service in the 80s. In this new episode of Military Aviation we want to tell you everything about this project, the impressive qualities of the aircraft, and what is the future of the new Brazilian fighter plane. On April 2, 2022, the social networks of the Swedish company Saab made an announcement in Portuguese. It was not a typo or a problem with the translator, it was the presentation of the first results of an ambitious project. That day, and coinciding with the founding date of Saab, the first two F-39 Gripen of the Brazilian Air Force arrived at the port of Navigantes, in the state of Santa Catarina, Brazil. Then, the aircraft continued their journey to Sao Paulo, where the Gripen Design and Development Network is located, the nerve center of technology transfer between Sweden and Brazil. The collaboration had already been announced in 2013, when it was reported among specialized media that the Brazilian aerospace industry was going to have the opportunity to participate in the development of the two-seater version of Saab's Gripen combat plane, chosen for the FX2 program of the country Air Force. The decision was made on January 30, 2014, in Sao Paulo, at a meeting attended by Saab's vice president, Dan Jangblad, along with representatives of the Brazilian Army. At that time, the Brazilian Air Force ordered 36 Saab Gripen combat aircraft, of which 8 were Gripen F-2 seater trainers while the remaining 28 would be Gripen E single seat versions. But, how are these two models related with the old familiar Swedish 39 Gripen from the 80s? The JAS-39 Gripen first flew in 1988 and entered service in 1996, thus becoming Europe's leading competition for US-developed fighter craft. But all models, however advanced they may be, need to adjust to the present. That is why at the beginning of the 21st century the Swedish company began working on the next generation, a line literally called Next Generation, or NG. The first flight of this new incarnation was in 2008, but it was not officially introduced until 2016. You may have also heard the name Gripen E, and it is practically a synonym, although with a caveat, since it refers only to the single-seater model. Saab Gripen NG is a single-engine multi-role fighter, which is considered as Generation 4.5. Although it is not a totally stealthy aircraft, due to its aerodynamic design and the use of various composite materials both in the wings and in the fuselage, it achieves a very low radar and thermal mark which makes it difficult for even the most modern systems to detect it. Another crucial factor is that it can fly at low altitude to remain undetected and perform successful missions similar to a stealth aircraft such as the F-22, albeit at significantly lower purchase and operating cost. The Gripen NG is a supersonic aircraft that combines a delta wing design with medium-weight canard winglets. In addition, it has a single General Electric F414G turbofan engine with afterburning, which allows it to reach a top speed of Mach 2 at high altitude, or 1,400 km per hour at sea level. This engine was one of the updates received by the next generation model, and it has 20% more thrust than the previous one, in addition to significant fuel savings, which allows the range and autonomy to be increased up to 4,000 km. But that's not all. The NG also has the ability to carry up to three external fuel tanks that are located on the sides. Another of the strengths of the Gripen NG is the inclusion of a new flat design AESA radar, lighter and more powerful than the original PS05A. This makes it possible to track targets up to 400 kilometers away. If we add to this the new electronic flight systems and computer programs in the cockpit, the avionics of this plane is very similar to that of fifth-generation fighters. While stealth and firepower are limited, the new Gripen is an imposing fighter that is sure to become Brazil's offensive spearhead. 
Speaking of weaponry, how equipped is the Gripen? Like the JAS-39, the NG has a built-in 27mm gun, but has an increased weapon load capacity thanks to the placement of new pylons. Also included are a series of detection and targeting pods that are essential to put projectiles to good use. Thanks to the new reinforced pillars, the Gripen Next Generation can carry guided bombs under the central fuselage of the aircraft, and two other guided bombs under the wings. It can also carry medium-range missiles under the center fuselage, which are vital for air-to-air -air combat beyond the pilot's visual range. For combat at closer range, it has short-range missiles on the second cargo pylon located under the wings. Some of the projectiles it uses are the classic AIM-9 Sidewinder, AIM-120 AMROM, AGM-65 Maverick, and the powerful KEP-350 cruise missile. As for bombs, the most common are the GBU-12 Paveway, the Book 90, and the Mark 82. The Brazilian Gripen is a two-seater version known as Gripen F, which maintains all the characteristics that we previously described. Part of the agreement with Brazil includes the incorporation of 50 local engineers in the Swedish company's plant, as well as the transfer of technology and knowledge. This will allow the South American country to maintain the aircraft and carry out its own developments in the future. This is the most important thing in this business, the Brazilian aerospace industry will come out stronger and more experienced once the delivery of all the Gripens agreed between 2013 and 2014 is completed. After that agreement, in 2016 a Gripen facility was inaugurated in Brazilian territory, and since then it has been the central point of these technology transfers between Swedish and Brazilian engineers. But it is not an asymmetrical relationship, where some teach and others take note. There, several fundamental aspects of the F model were developed, such as vehicle systems, fuselage details, avionics, digital interfaces, and installation systems. In fact, in November 2019 the first soft flight simulator built outside of Sweden was installed. The collaboration between the Nordic and South American industry appears to have borne fruit, and delivery of the remaining aircraft is expected to continue in 2023. The development impact on the Brazilian industry will surely be seen in the years to come. We have reached the end of this video. If you are interested in knowing all the news about the most impressive aircraft on the planet, we invite you to subscribe and activate notifications. We'll see you in the next episode of Military Aviation.